Hi everyone, I hope you are well and keeping safe. Today I am going to read you a story, so story time with Miss Hanam. And the book that I'm going to read is called Never Ever Tickle the Tickle Monster. And it is, it is written by the award-winning author that came to our school, Billy Bob Buttons. And we are also fortunate enough to have him have signed it which is really nice, isn't it? So I'm going to read a few pages today and then we will continue reading it another time. So it says, for Rebecca, never ever tickle the tickle monster. Once there was a little boy. Well, not so little. He was in fact seven. Now, if you happen to be 10 or say 13, seven's little. But if you happen to be two or three, seven's very, very big. The boy's name was Jimmy. Jimmy had super freckly cheeks. There were not just 10 or 11 of them, or even 50 or 60. There were hundreds. There were so many, they almost overlapped. So Jimmy always looked tanned, as if he'd just been on holiday to Corfu. There he is. There's Jimmy with his freckles. He also had a crooked tooth. It was his left incisor. It had not always been crooked. Up to the age of six, it had been perfectly lined up with the rest of his teeth. But when his little sister, Jess, had tossed a bowl of yucky looking baby food at him and he'd been too slow to duck, the tooth had sort of keeled over and now looked a lot like the Tower of Pisa. If you didn't know, the Tower of Pisa is in Italy. Here is a picture of the Tower of Pisa. There we go. There is also a picture of Jimmy's wonky tooth. Identical, don't you think? There we go. You look at Jimmy's wonky tooth and you look at the Tower of Pisa. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm not going to bother describing the rest of Jimmy. It's just too dull. For you and for me, let's just say he had knees, feet, two thumbs, a bottom, etc, etc. Jimmy lived with his mum, dad, sister and dog. Jimmy's mum was a knobbly elbowed woman who very much enjoyed sitting down. She was also very good at it, talented even. If it was an Olymp Olympic sport, she'd win a gold medal. She could sit down almost anywhere and on anything. On a picket fence, skiing down a hill, even on a prickly hedgehog. She was also terribly frightened of any food that was shaped like a ring. Jammy donuts, bagels, Hula hoops, she thought, were particularly terrifying, particularly terrifying. Jimmy's dad worked in portable loos. Well, not in them. That'd be disgusting. His job was to sell them. He worked for a company called Butt Hut. The motto of the company was, no job is too big for a Butt Hut loo. Jimmy's dad had a shiny, bold skull and very big eyes and a very long banana shaped nose. He looked strikingly like Henry the Hoover. Here's a picture of Henry the Hoover and here's a picture of Jimmy's dad. As you can see, it's, it's impossible to see, tell them apart. Have a look. <laughs> they do look quite similar, don't they? <laughs> Jimmy's dad also had a big bottom. In fact, it was so big, it drooped all the way down to the backs of his knees. Jimmy's little sister, Jess, was only three years old. She was clever for her age and knew lots of words. Stinky poo being her favourite too. She loved to yell stinky poo whenever she was in Tesco or Audi. But not in Marks and Spencer's. Marks and Spencer. Whenever she was in Marks and Spencer, she always stayed stubbornly silent. Nobody knew why. And I must not forget the dog. His name was Spark Plug, but everybody called him Sparky for short. Sparky was small, but like most dogs, he liked to pretend he was big. His hobby was to bark at much larger dogs and then run away. But there he is. Oh, he's quite cute. Okay. Jimmy lived with his family in the tiny village of Little Bottom. And no, that is not a spelling error. You might expect everybody living in Little Bottom to be, well, Little Bottomed. But no, like Jimmy's dad, they were mostly Big Bottomed. Mars bars being the most sold item in Mr Nutter's corner shop. Now, Jimmy was a good boy, mostly. He'd often help his dad in the kitchen. Dad's job was to wash up, but he didn't like doing it. I'm allergic to water, he'd tell Jimmy with a playful wink. But J Jimmy never minded doing it. 
He enjoyed playing in the sink with all the pots and pans. He pretended there were ships battling in the bubbly water. Jimmy also liked helping in the garden. Cutting the grass was the best job. Afterwards, he'd strip off and roll over and over. All the bits of grass he'd cut stick into his skin. Then when he stood up, he looked just like a furry green monster. He'd stomp here, there and everywhere, thumping his chest. And little Jess would howl with laughter. If you recall, I just told you that Jimmy was mostly a good boy. There we go. There's Jimmy. And he was. So I'm going to stop there for today. But hopefully we will, we will carry on reading this another time. Thank you for listening. Bye.